Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the key modifiers and the V1's directive. Now in this video, we will see about the V-model directive. So how it will be useful in the two-way data binding. So in order to achieve the two-way data binding in our in the Vue.js, in the Vue.js, so how we can achieve this one? So we can achieve through the V-model directive. So we will see this one in this video. So before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to here, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. So that I will be posting more and more front-end development courses. Now, see here, this is the output, right? <clears throat> Whatever the thing I am writing here, okay. So after pressing enter, you are able to get the output, right? So let's change somewhat this one, okay? So what I will try to do is let's try to change these all the things, okay? I will I will try to change this one also, okay? Now, in order to, for example, see. If I refresh this one, this entire thing is gone away. Now, if I want to enter this name, automatically here down, I need to show that name, right? So, what I what I will be doing previously, we have an on off input is equal to. So, I will be I, I have used set name like this, right? Set name. So, set name is the method what we have. So, net name, set name, and let's remove this last name. So, for the time being, okay. So set name of event set name of event means so automatically that one will send you the event the native event object will be sent automatically by the vjs now here if i want to show it i want i can show it like something like new your name is what i can say so your name is name i can write like this your name is name like this now if i want to check the output here so your name is new lila lila web dev and this one all written now if I, if I write like something like this, this one this one is automatically updating. Okay, fine. Now Leela Web Dev is the default one it is showing it here, but I need to show it here also. Right? How I can show? Here we can do something like we will be using here v hyphen bind of value. So we need to give the value, right? Value. So in order to apply this one name, the what I can say. The with the property dynamically we need to use the v if and bind before the value now if i see the output here if i refresh this one now i am able to see the lila web do automatically and if i write here this one i am able to achieve the two way binding here but what i need to do is so instead of writing this v if and bind of value and this one all we can directly use another inbuilt directive that is nothing but v if and model simply we can remove this one and I can write v hyphen model is equal to name like this. Okay. Now if I try to check the output here, if I if I refresh this one, see the same thing I can achieve that. Same thing I can achieve. Now this is how v hyphen model we can achieve through the two-way data binding. Okay. And another thing what we can do is so we can also do another thing, something like output name. I, I will be using one method, okay. And here that method what it will do is return this dot name. It will return you this dot name. Okay. Return, return this dot name. So output name if I go here. And for example output name this dot name plus. I will use web dev. Okay. So last name I have used. So what I will try to do is output. Uh, what I can say output full name. We can use instead of name. Output full name. So I want to output the full name. And here in the index.html, I can use directly like this. So now what will happen? Output full name means written this dot name plus web dev, it is happening. Okay. So that means automatically Leela web dev and also another web dev will be inserted. So I what I will try to do is I will try to remove this Leela and so that Leela web dev will automatically show it. So here what I will try to do if I try to refresh here, I am able to see that Leela web dev. That means output full name is executed that value is executed now if i change the data here top that means name is changing name is changing means will this output full name will execute again and it will so it will give you the name fully name full name here or not updated name will it give it or not so let's check that one so if i try to check here so i will try to write something like this so here i am able to see the output c i am able to check the output here okay so that means let's try to inspect the element Okay, let's try to console. Let's try to console this one. Console.log executing 
without executing full name or something like this i, I will be writing so whether whether the execution is going into this uh, method or not let's try to check okay now if i try to refresh this one so executing full name so it went first time so in order to show that leela web dot now when i am writing here so all the time it is entering if you see here all the time all the time it is entering into the seven okay so that means well and fine so that means two way binding is working so wherever the name variable we are using so wherever wherever the place we, we are use the v my v iphone model name where whenever wherever the place we update the name value so correspondingly the name variable wherever we are using in the project whether either, either it in the js project or in the html template or anywhere so correspondingly it will execute okay so that is no problem that is that is well and fine fine nice but there is one downside with this approach what is the downside is for example here if you go and if you refresh this one and if you check try to update this one so this method is executing well and fine now what i want to do is now i don't want i i will not change this method i will not change this uh, text box now i will update this increment so that means there is no need to execute the output full name why because i am not changing the name value so i am not changing this name at name property i am changing just increment decrement so this time i am incrementing the count variable so i am nowhere concerned about the, about this output full name so now let's see well whether that output full name will execute or not let's see so I click here see you are able to see that output full name is executing so that is nowhere concerned with the increment and decrement thing okay but still we are able to we are executing this executive full name so what is happening here so the thing is happening is so view js considers so whenever we are incrementing this button okay on increment button is executing so it, it will check that in the template wherever we are using this count variable so wherever we are using this count variable automatically that that uh, that dom will be re-rendered again so that means that that element whatever the thing using that in whatever the element it is using that variable clear uh, what i can say count variable it will re-render it again but coming to here output full name is there so this is not a what i can say this is not a variable for example uh, this is not a variable okay this is a method so this is a method so now what will happen is we, we know that in this output full name we are not using this count variable okay we know as a programmer or developer we know that in this output full name we are using the count variable we are not using the count variable we know so there is no need to execute this method but vue.js while executing it doesn't know this output full name whether it is using that count variable or not so the uh, what we get what i can say vue.js uh, doesn't able to imagine so that is the reason what it will do is for safe side reason it will automatically execute the output full name so that if if, a, if any case count variable is using means it will be re-rendered again so that is the reason it is executing the output full name why because it is nowhere concerned it is the uj's doesn't know whether this method will be using this variable variable whatever i have to update it so in this scenario uj's any variable updated in the dom is so like this if you are using any methods it will be automatically executed so you need to remember this one automatically executed so this leads to a bad performance why because i am changing the count variable okay i am changing the count variable i am nowhere concerned about this output full name so tomorrow the, uh, now this could be a small code only but tomorrow lot of code will be there so big big performance code will be there so this will this will affect the performance issue so how how we can overcome this one okay so we may we are, how we can overcome this one so let's see that one in the next video so like this we can use this v model directive in this video we have seen about the vfm model directive for achieving the two way model data binding and also the methods so if you are using in this one so whatever the methods uh, dynamically updated those things also it will be updated directly okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you